everyone welcome back to my channel diamonds and washi my name is katie and today i am here with an unboxing of two newer releases from muni made these are a couple of kits by the artist michelle shia and i just i love the kits that muni made recently released from them now these did come out about a month and a half ago and i believe that they have you know they sold out pretty quickly on release but you guys there are more of these on the way. Muni Made is going through some really exciting transitions and making some amazing improvements uh, with their production line. And they're going to have a lot back in stock shortly. But I just, you need to go and check out what they have in stock now. I am incredibly happy with Muni Made's quality. I've completed a couple of different kits from them. And they are just one of those just absolute top tier small shops out there. So you'll find some post reviews to some completed kits that will be linked below in the description box. Please go and take a look if you want to be enabled even further, but <clears throat> hopefully this will give you a sense for what Muni Made has to offer and you can add these maybe to your wish list if these specific kits are something that you would like for when they do come in st back in stock, which will hopefully just be in a few weeks. So <laughs> follow along on Muni Made socials to stay totally up to date with all of that. So there's a thank you card in here. And I did buy these kits myself. I always like to mention that. Um, and I chose to forego a couple of optional things. I actually love that Muni Mate offers this. They offer, oops, sorry about that. Um, they offer uh, the option of you can either get no toolkit or a basic toolkit or a premium toolkit. And this is actually one of the ways that I suggest for people if you're wanting to try to get your hands on one of Muni Mate's trays, which they're arguably most well known for. Um, get one of their really top-notch amazing quality diamond painting kits and add on one of the premium toolkits because it's really hard to get your hands on one of Muni Maid's trays. They sell it really quickly and everything. And um, this way, you know, you don't have to go through that kind of craze and it'll match your kit, which is even more perfect. Here's their business card, by the way. I'll have all of these linked below if you are curious. And then we got a little freebie, which is so cute. She always includes a little like a uh, freebie with your, your order. And I have two kits, like I said, to share with you today. <clears throat> so I have the kit Miss You, and I have the kit Nine-Tailed Fox. So um, Nine-Tailed Fox is quite large, 120 by 55 centimeters with square diamonds. And then Miss You is 50 by 65 centimeters with round diamonds. And so oh, I'm looking forward to looking at both of these. Let's start with Miss You. And <clears throat> as far as the toolkits go, what I was talking about earlier, I decided to forego getting any toolkits at all added on with this order. I actually love that Muni Made offers the option of no toolkits because then I can forego additional, you know, waste, you know, something I don't need. I have plenty of accessories, so I'm happy to say, no, I'm good. <laughs> I do sometimes go ahead and add on the premium toolkit with the tray if I really like the tray color. Um, and there's, you know, other, other things that are upgraded as well. And there's that original artwork. This artwork was previously licensed, uh, to a diamond painting small shop that has since closed down. And honestly, I really think that Muni Maid's rendering style is going to be much better suited to this artwork anyway, which, oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. It's, oh. It's so dreamy. Okay, so there's obviously, there's a lot of darker colors, so I know it's probably a little bit hard to really make out um, some of the details just from the printing on the canvas, but you can see all of her hair. And then just these really pretty like butterflies and glow lights up here. This is so pretty and a nice, not huge size. Muni Made does have some really nice smaller size kits uh, available that are in stock as the time of this filming um, that you can totally go and take a look at if you want to kind of dip your toes in and see if this company has features that you personally enjoy. But that just, oh, I love this artwork. And I actually, I had the version from the other company and I was not very happy with the rendering and I de-stashed it. Just for my own personal taste, this looks much more up my alley. I'm so happy to see this artwork here. Uh, let me show you what was included with the kit. So here we have, this is actually a lot of really helpful info and I think really communicates the, the quality and the values of Muni Made. They're very, very receptive to feedback. They uh, give you some how-tos for diamond painting. They are a small shop. It is just a little family-owned business. Here are their policies. Everything they have is legally licensed. All of their images are hand-charted, and this includes the images that they have coming from uh, after the transition that they have going on right now. We're still going to get that really 
gorgeous hand charting and attention to detail that, you know, you've kind of come to expect from Mini Mate at this point. So I'm a huge, huge, huge fan, if you couldn't tell. Uh, we do have this larger sticker sheet as well. There's the original artwork again in kind of a bigger form. There's the title and a spot chart, your start and end date. Here are the stats for you. Again, round diamonds, 50 by 65 centimeters. Over here is a set of, these are actually, yes, they are pre-cut sticker labels. We have the long version right here. And then this also is a sticker that you can pop out, which if you have those like little storage containers, that makes that easier to kind of fit on there. I love that they offer that as an option. This kit's gonna have 43 colors. It looks like we're gonna have four special drill colors, three ABs, and I, is that maybe, I don't know, maybe a glow drill? We'll take a look at the diamonds later and I'll tell you more about those special drills uh, when we're looking at those. The color, uh, the color code you see in the right hand column, you guys, this is from the DMC color code system. You will see that most diamond painting companies use this color code system. It comes from the DMC brand of floss, like with cross stitch. And so Minimade uses that as well. Uh, we have our diamonds here. We will take a look at these more closely after we look at the canvas though. Let me show you some of the features of this canvas. We do have Mini Maid's branding, their logo at the top. The canvas itself, so the, the edges of the canvas, they have some scalloped and pokes, so you shouldn't have to worry about fraying with their canvases. The backing is this kind of short lint, soft lint material. I found that these canvases lay flat really, really well and hold drills really well too. The glue is very sticky and it's got this clear plastic cover. Um, at the bottom left, we have a color list. We also have a color list or legend at the top right, as well as a thumbnail, the schematic, and the size and the, the model number as well. And then down here, we have the name, the thumbnail, the artist's name, and the size and then copyright. So this is legally licensed from the artist. That means the artist is both given permission for the use of this artwork and is being compensated for it. You will sometimes see artists with multiple small shops and or small and big shops. And that does not mean that something is necessarily not above board. I can say with full confidence that Muni Made is completely above board with what they do with their kits. Here is their website, and they do link to the artist's Instagram, which I love too. They're all about supporting their artists as well, so definitely go and take a look at the artist page too. The printing on the canvas is really clear. It is definitely a hand-charted piece. It's got a nice, clean and crisp rendering. Um, and as far as what you prefer when it comes to rendering, that's highly subjective. But I know a lot of people really are looking for a clean and crisp rendering when it comes to a lot of particular art styles with their diamond paintings. And like I said, I'm very, very curious and eager to see how this kit is gonna look, this artwork is gonna look with Muni Maid's special touch. Like I said, I am incredibly impressed with Muni Maid's attention to detail all around, whether it's her accessories or her diamond painting kits. That girl is so dedicated <laughs> to top-notch quality and really amazing customer service. If you have not checked out Muni Maid, please, please, please do. This is not sponsored. I'm not an affiliate. I just genuinely really think that they make a fantastic product. Now, we do have a good amount of color blocking in some of these backgrounds, if you haven't noticed. Color blocking is when you have large blocks of color in areas like we have here. You'll be able to use a multi-placer if you like, and uh, you'll have that color in your tray for a while, which is nice. We have a little bit of what I'd consider confetti, maybe in some of these kind of hanging lights and butterflies, but it's pretty, it's not, it's not too heavy on the confetti. Confetti is when you have maybe some more kind of like sprinkly color changes in here. You might be doing a little bit more single placing and changing out the color in your tray a little bit more often, but that is gonna give you a little bit more detail and um, also, you know, maybe help with some color blending. Let me grab my measuring tape. I'm just gonna see if we are true to size here. And let's see, we're at 65 centimeters. And then this way we are at 50 centimeters, which that is exactly what we're listed as. So we are true to size, which not shocking you guys. That has been my experience with Muni Maids kits for sure. Here are our diamonds. They're in this bag and this MMR 033 is gonna match up with the, um, the bottle number that's at the top right corner of the canvas. Just in case you, in case you store these diamonds separate from the canvas outside, 
the box they came in. So let's take a quick look. Alrighty. Like I mentioned, this kit comes with round diamonds and it does come with these in resealable bags. So a lot of people like to work out of baggies. I like to work out of storage containers. So I'll probably pour these out of the bags and into storage containers just for sake of ease. I'm a little bit klutzy. Um, the first number you're seeing, that's gonna match up with, so the number four is gonna be that symbol G. And then 304 is gonna be the DMC code. And I have done a kit from Mina Made with round diamonds. They were sparkly and they were good to work with. They were good quality. This kit does have a lot of kind of like dark blues, lots of dark purples, even like a dark green here. Just from looking at the diamonds in the bags, these look like they're good quality. Like I said, I, I did complete one. It was um, Deity of the Forgotten, I believe. That was by Femke Deborah from Mini Maid, and it had round diamonds. No complaints. A big bag of this 823 color. And then let me find these special drills, though, because I feel like that's really, that's what we're here for, <laughs> right? Okay, so we had, it's just the three ABs and the one other special drill type, right? Okay. So here are our three AB colors. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These are named after the Northern Lights. And if you could take a look, these all each have a really sparkly iridescent coating on the top that is just very bold. It's gonna stand out a lot from the other diamonds and draw your eye to the areas it has been charted. And I am excited to see where these have been placed. We'll take a look together in a bit. And then this, I am gonna double check and I'll pop up on the screen if this is exactly what kind of special drill this one is. My guess is that it may be a glow in the dark diamond or it might just be a jelly diamond. So I'll put it up on the screen for you though. But it's a pretty pale peachy color. It's kind of like a semi like translucent look as well. <gasps> Excited to see what those are. Okay, so let's look on the canvas <clears throat> and find where those special drills are gonna go. Um, and so that blue AB is doing some highlighting actually in her hair. It's not the lightest blue you're seeing. It's one of the lighter blues, but not the lightest. And it's, yeah, highlights in her hair. And then actually, <clears throat> I'm gonna guess that that is a glow drill. Um, this particular special drill, the pale peach one, it's gonna be the spot that has no symbol. And I was wondering about that because I was commenting that they look semi-translucent. If this, if this diamond, we're gonna be placed on kind of a more traditional spot that has a symbol. I was worried you would see the symbol behind the diamond, but that's how they, they address that, is it's just like, well, there's no symbol. and There's no other uh, symbols on here that have no symbol, and so you're not gonna you know mix it up with anything, of course. Um, so we have, that's where that color is. And then we also have this kind of, it's almost like a dusty rose AB. There's some of it in like right here. It's in some of these glowy areas. Whether these are like embers or sparks or you know what have you. There's a little bit of that kind of dusty rose AB in there. <clears throat> and then it's the purple AB I wanna make sure I don't miss. Okay, there's a little bit of purple AB highlighting above her forehead and a little bit of it here. I think this is some more of her hair. So a little bit of highlight there. And then take a look here. Let's see. I think, okay, so we have more of that special drill, the semi-translucent peachy drill is in a lot of these, these butterflies and the lights here, as well as the Dusty Rose AB is in a lot of these areas as well, sometimes right next to that semi-translucent color. <clears throat> and then just wanna see if there's any of the blue or purple AB up here on the top. Make it a little easier on my eyes here. Not that I see. So I think, I think that the purple and the blue ABs are just down here kind of 
Um, it's in her hair. And there's some purple ABs kind of throughout this area and right here actually in her hair too. And then the semi-translucent peachy color and the dusty rose AB are going to be found in the, you know, various spots of the glow, the butterflies, the lights, as well as some of the ones down here as well. I love that. I love that even the special drills are really intentionally hand charted and, and I think are going to look so, so, so good with the original artwork. I'm excited to see this one worked up, you guys. This is Miss You and... Um, absolutely is going to be restocked so please keep an eye out like I said I think the hope is that here in the next few weeks after the time of this filming is what Muni made uh, the owner had mentioned to me is what she's really really hoping for so I'm gonna just move this off to the side and I'm gonna grab my second kit to share with you guys Next up, the kit I have to share with you is just as a refresher. It's called Nine-Tailed Fox. And this one, I am gonna skim through some of the different things that we've already covered that'll be the same from the last canvas. Uh, just some of the features and whatnot, but I am definitely gonna give you a close look at the canvas and um, the special diamonds and talk about, of course, anything else that is standing out to me. But just to save you a little time, but if you did happen to skip ahead to this particular canvas and you're curious to hear me talk, in more depth about the features of just the canvas and the kit itself, I will um, ask that you just rewind a little bit and hear me talk about that with the past kit. This is extremely large. We are barely halfway in frame at this point, it looks like. I think that the logo right there is going to be the halfway point. Yeah, no, this is the big one, you guys, but I am seeing so much color blocking. It's like color blocking heaven in here. So if there's all that color blocking, why is it so big? I'm about to show you why. <laughs> so when we get over to here, it's because of her face and her hair and all those flowers there to get the detail. That is my guess is to get the detail there. That's why we had to really go up to this amazing size. But oh my gosh, how incredibly epic and gorgeous is this artwork now this is like a pink and purple lovers dream and oh my goodness i think this looks incredible the colors bring me so much joy i'm a sucker for pink so that's not totally a surprise um, i know some of you may be curious to see so i will put it up on the screen for you here a picture of the whole canvas and frames so that you can see all of it and uh, and just get to get a sense for how big this is, how the whole canvas is looking. But there she is. What a stunner. My goodness. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Look at this big bag of diamonds. Holy cow. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, we'll take a look at those. But first, just really super brief recap. We have this paper that has some helpful info on it and again tells you more just about the company and why they're so amazing and top notch. Here's a look at our sticker sheet. There's the original artwork for you, a little bit bigger anyway. Isn't that gorgeous? Nine-tailed fox, same artist, Michelle Shia. Square diamonds, 120 by 55 centimeters a big one, over 100,000 diamonds in this particular kit. We have the same features over here. You might notice that uh, this symbol sticker, the little cutout of the individual sticker, it's a square shape because it's a square drill kit. A little touch there. 46 colors in total. Looks like we're going to have four ABs in this particular kit. And really clear, you know, printing of the symbols and everything. Of the colors, I'm telling you what. These pinks <laughs> look so, 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 so good. Okay, so we have the same features as far as their branding up here at the top, the canvas material, the glue, all the things are the same from the past kit. We have the legend over here. I will tell you guys with the kit this large, I'm gonna recommend you make major use of those stickers that were included. Don't, I mean, I would just say maybe don't count on going to look at the legend every time because imagine you're in the middle of this kit and every time you're picking a color you got to go all the way over to one side or the other to look at the legend use those symbols then you don't have to mess with the legend at all save yourself a ton of headache, headache and time i think um we have here's the artist instagram again and the same legend over here you guys i'll go ahead and i'll try to see if i can measure it let's let's see how uh gracefully i can manage this we're looking at um, over 100 centimeters in width. So let's go with, let's move it over now. We 
we are at 119 centimeters and we're listed as 120. You know what? Canvas is big. I'm going to give them the centimeter. <laughs> I give genuinely though. I do give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room anyway. So that's just, I'm not bothered about that at all. And we are at about 54 and a half centimeters top to bottom. I believe we're listed as 55. It could be because it's a square drill canvas maybe that it's, it's not as dead on as the other one was. Again, I just, I don't mind. It's fine. Well, let me show you a little bit up close though. I'll give you guys a look at some of this incredible color blocking. I would say if you have not uh, tried out multi-placer before and you pick up this kit, this would be a great kit to practice with your multi-placer on. You could get a 12 placer, 15 placer, zip right through here, you guys. By the way, I also do have a video dedicated to how to work on a really large diamond painting kit. You'll find that linked below in the description box, along with some multi-placing tutorials. Hopefully that'll give you some tips and tricks that'll sort of make a large canvas like this one feel a little bit less intimidating. So lots and lots of color blocking. Even some of these areas, it's like, they could still use a multi-placer in there. You can, you know, really, I think, zip through 90% of this canvas just on color blocking alone. This looks amazing. So, so good. I loved the square drill kit I completed from Uni Made last year. It was called Beauty and Chaos and was by, who is that? Tally Sketch, I think. I might, I might have the artist wrong. I loved every second of that kit. It was large, but my goodness, the rendering was amazing. It also had some color blocking and moved right along. I was so happy with that kit. Here's a look up close. You can kind of see this is where the confetti is gonna be found. It's in her hair. This flower is gonna give some detail. Her face looks so good. So, so, so good. So and the printing is crystal clear of the symbols. This is gonna be just a joy to work on, honestly, <laughs> I think it is. So let me grab the diamonds. We'll take a look at those together. See what we're working with here. So again, color spread. We do have the um, the unit number here on the sticker. Just in case you need to match it up later if you store these separate. Is that, yeah, this is the 80s, okay. So you can see that there are a number of these colors that we do have multiple bags of. Like we have three bags of this 224 color. I wonder if that's one of the background colors maybe. Now, Mini Maid has square diamonds. I believe that these are resin and I had no issues with the quality and I'm picky you guys. I had no issues with the quality of the squares on my last kit uh, that I completed from Mini Maid. I was very, very happy with the square drill quality. It was so, it was really, really good. But I would tell you if I thought otherwise. Um, and these just looking at them in the bag, they also look good. You know, I always look to see, are there any, uh, are there, you know, diamonds look like they have bits sticking off the side because then they won't sit, you know, flush up next to each other very well. These look, these look like pristine. They look really good. Um, I love what I'm seeing. Here's this kind of minty color. I think this is maybe one of the top colors in the sky. 524. Yeah, I gotta recommend multi-placing. But you know what? If multi-placing isn't for you, that's completely fine. Single place, if that's what works best for you. Whatever's relaxing, whatever lets you enjoy the craft that's how you should do it. We have the same thing here, you guys. This is the legend number, number 19. And the 915 is gonna be the DMC color code. Matched up with those symbol stickers. If, like I said, if you like the color pink, this kit, this kit is it. This kit is everything. Love that pink. Kind of a dusty rose color. I, yeah, my goodness, my goodness. Every shade of pink, every shade of pink. <laughs> I love it. I love it. My gosh, I don't need a huge kit in my life right this second, but let me tell you what, this is tempting. Is that just a long piece of trash? That is so funny. That happens with resin. It, you know, it is what it is. That doesn't bother me. As long as the diamonds themselves are good, I'm good. I'm happy. Okay, where are those special drills? Cause I'm gonna find those and I wanna find them on the canvas too. All right, here we go. So we're looking at four special drill colors again and small amounts of these ones, you guys. So uh, these are probably just gonna give a little bit of extra accent to some really special areas. Again, these are all ABs. We have 5200, 3837, 550, that royal purple, and then 209. So three shades of purple, <laughs> light, medium, dark, and then some white. 
I am gonna guess we're gonna find them. I think I would guess over here, but let's let's take a look and find out for sure. Um, so three A and N. Okay, so letter A, the darkest purple I'm seeing is a fair amount of this ribbon that is kind of trailing. There's um, that darkest purple AB. It's not all of this color, but it's a lot of it, including it going around her neck a bit. And then the number three, let's see, that was the lightest purple AB here. There's some of that in the center of her eyes and checking to see if I am missing it anywhere else so far. I wonder if there might be some, I do see some over here in the painting as well. Like there's a little bit of it right here. And then we'll go over to that half of the painting in a moment. I wanna take a look at the, this half of the painting first and find those ABs and then we'll hop over there. So hold on just a second. And then the white AB, I see some of the white ABs sprinkled in her hair actually. Um, most of the lightest color you're seeing is the white AB. And there's a couple of the white AB in the centers of her eyes as well. And then the letter N, let me see. The medium purple AB. So we have the dark AB, the light AB. The medium purple AB, I see a little bit of it laced throughout right here in this ribbon. And let me take a look. N, A, and three. Make sure I'm not missing it if I can help it. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to do. I'm I, I'm do, I'm gonna do my best here. Uh, there is also oh I did miss it in her eyes. So along with the light uh, purple, there's also a little bit of the medium purple in her eyes. Okay, let's check off the check out the right half of the canvas and see if we have any of these AB colors over here too. And I let's see A and and three. So the lightest purple AB, there's some of it right here and right here, and then a big bunch of it right here. And then I think that was it. I think that that's all. Okay, well, I am really happy with that though, you guys. It's just like a little bit extra sparkle in her in her tail, but a piece like this, I feel like it makes a statement in and of itself. It doesn't need a bunch of ABs in it. Honestly, it would probably feel distracting. I'm very happy with just having some ABs up here to really enhance and, and lift just a little bit. This extra stunning part of it, I think that that is really fitting for this particular artwork, just in my personal opinion. Um, you can always add more enhancements to yourself. I think Meanie Made actually sells some really pretty like glitter drills. If you wanted to do some, add some specialty drills yourself, you could totally, totally do that. But I think that that's, that's it for this one, you guys. So this was Nine-Tailed Fox is a whopping 120 by 55 centimeters in size, has square diamonds, 46 colors, and don't let the size just deter you from buying this kit when it restocks because I just feel like with all the color blocking that it is going to move right along and you're going to get to see it come together beautifully and relatively quickly. So I love it. Let me give you guys just a recap on some helpful and important info. Like I said, as of the time of this filming and this posting, unfortunately, both of these kits have sold out, but I still wanted to share this with you to, to, for a couple of reasons. Uh, to let you know that Meanie still has some amazing kits in stock that you should go and take a look and see if any of them catch your eye. I think some of them are on sale right now too. So go and take advantage. And if you've been wanting to try to get your hands on one of Muni Maid's trays, you could look at adding on one of the premium toolkits. And that's a great way to try out her trays as well. I also wanted to use this to let you know that these kits are coming back in stock and Muni Maid is just going through a little bit of a transition right now. And they're making some amazing production improvements. I've seen some little peeks at some of the artwork that they have coming and the, the renderings that look just absolutely stellar, like right up at this top tier level. I think you guys are gonna be really happy with what they have coming. And so this is also just like a little PSA, like if you're not already following Muni Made on their socials, having their site bookmarked, this is, you, you wanna make sure you do so you're not missing out because you're, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna stay up to date with it. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I do hope that this was helpful. And like I said, I will have some other helpful 
videos of mine linked below, including reviews of other Muni Make kits that I've completed and some tutorials that might be helpful for tackling big kits like this or if you're a beginner or something. So take a look at those. I also would invite you to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my diamond painting content. I will be sure to share some of Muni Made's new releases when they uh, do their restocks and are, are back from their uh, transitions with production. And I'll be a bit more on it in terms of timing so that uh, you can jump on it as well. Anyway, I'd love to have you here. I also do reviews and tutorials and weekly whip and chats and, you know, love to have you as part of my community. You guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you so much and have you, hope you have a day and a week that's as amazing as you are. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.